What's up guys, it's Kerry from KJV back with the realistic Leicester City career mode. How are we all doing today? Sorry if my voice sounds a bit off. We've been out on the Friday night. I'm recording this on the Sunday morning, so it's still a bit off, but you know, good times and all that. Anyway, I've got a confession to make. The autosave bug that seemed to be going around on career mode it hit the series so I've simulated the results and got similar results to what we did get I think the only difference is we've got one more win than we have draw but it's put us I believe one point better because one of the draws was a loss one of the draws was a win so somehow it's worked out we're one point better off but we're about the same as where we were where we left you last time which was the Brighton game anyway if you can look past that, we'll continue with the series. We've got Burnley up next. Then we've got Spartak Moscow, which we are treating as League of Warsaw. So I'm going to use the realistic lineups and we're just going to jump straight in. Alright, so this is the lineup that we used Schmeichel and Goal, Pereira, Soyuncu, Vestergaard, Bertrand, and Diddy Samore, Tillemans, Luckman, Vardy, and Barnes. This was a game in real life we drew 2 all with Burnley and it was just a poor showing all round so we just need to do better than that. That's the aim with this one so let's try. You know what I'll say it again if the footage appears a bit laggy it's because again I've just completely forgot to go into the menus and change it into a not so nice English day but anyway we'll continue. We've got to beat Burnley we've got to do better than 2 all. that's what we're trying to do. Nice, Tillemans early on, can't beat his man, he gave the ball away. Ricky P's recovered it well. Nice, he's done it again. Tillemans, he sees a run of Barnes. He's got there, cuts inside. Going for the finesse. Harvey Barnes just puts it wide, unlucky. Nice, play it into Luckman. Luckman down his right. I'll be honest, this was a game we were really impressed with Luckman because it was the first chance he got. It was absolutely brilliant at just getting the ball and running forwards. Something which I don't think a lot of our players like doing at the minute. We've been had at the back by a loose touch. Ricardo against Dwight McNeil. Letting him get away. And we've let him in the box. But he was offside, that's alright. I was worried it gave a dodgy penalty away then. Anyway, now it's been a full week of FIFA 22 being out. Comments, let me know how you're getting on with a game, because I'm really liking this game this year. I think, just gameplay-wise in general, it just feels a lot better. It feels a lot more realistic, and I've actually been playing some Ultimate Team for a change, and it's been quite fun. So, I'm loving this new game. Let me know how you're getting on in the comments. Nice, Bertrand leaves it for Schmeichel, that's what Vardish probably should have done in this game real life. Anyway, Ricky P, ball down to Samore, another one to Luckman, we're just slowly building again on this one. Harvey Barnes plays it to Vardy, Vardy, just about gets away with it, Samore, Tillemans is there, on the volley, Yuri Tillemans has put us 1-0 up against Burnley. And it's a lovely volley to get the job done. I'll be honest, I thought I fluffed the chance at about that point. But when Tillemans had the space, he was always going to catch it really well. Puts us 1-0 up. Vestergaard doesn't win his header. Not very good for a 6 foot seven bloke. And did he's just let him go and Schmeichel's decided to fall underneath the ball. That's the one thing I will say. I like how they make goalkeepers a lot better in some aspects. But other aspects, they are shocking. To be honest, it was simple. Defending was poor. But you can't be being beaten like that. It's just... Well, he's kind of swung the other way. It's a weird one, but oh well. Nice tackle by Yuri. And Vardy has been released. Vardy against Burnley. He did really well in this in real life. Plays it back to Barnes. Out to Luckman. To Samore. We're just faffing with it in the box there. That's a big chance wasted. Now look at this. We've got us on a counter-attack. It's Vestergaard versus Goodmanson. 
He's been absolutely outpaced. Get there, get there, get there. Oh, God, no. Good save by Schmeichel in the end. That'll do. Bertrand had a shocker there. Gave it to Goodmanson again. Chris Woods in the box. Good block by Cags. Vestergaard just does a job. Well done. Nice. Ricardo to Luckman. Luckman across the box. Yuri Tilleman is there for a second. Tell you what. Good little bit of play there by Pereira. Gets us the space we need. Luckman gets in a good position in the box. And Tilleman just provides a finish. Good stuff. Okay, what's some more is going? And he's played Vardy in the box. Vardy returned the favour. It's Samore. Samore has his first goal for Leicester City. And that is all as a result of some fantastic play from him. This team is coming together quite nicely on this career mode. So I've made two changes. Thomas has come on for Bertrand because he's had a bit of a poor game. And Dak has come on for Luckman. Just because I want to give Dakar as many minutes as I can in this career mode. It's as simple as that. Vardy to Samore. He's got Dakar. Dakar straight away is offside. Oh, Ricardo Pereira, what an interception. We've got Vardy again. Dakar again is running. He's got there with acres. Dakar in the box. I've gone for a left footed finesse. It's not come off, but we've got pressure on Burnley again at least. Right, Tillemans for a hat trick. He's got it, edge of the box. He's finessed it. Oh my god. That would have been the perfect way to seal a hat trick, but the bar has denied him. Oh, soft foul. That is. A good free kick, but I didn't call Schmeichel out for that. He's put us in a bit of a situation now where they can equalise and get a point. Never ran him out at all there, so he, I don't know what he's doing on the edge of his six-yard box. Look at the pressure now. Burnley are trying it. They're in the box. I don't like that. Schmeichel, for fuck's sake. I said it. As soon as that free kick went in, we are under pressure now. And he's not even tried to save it. I mean, we've got the realistic result of a draw, but the whole aim of this series is to do it better. And Schmeichel's denied that. We've drew three all with Burnley, and I feel the same. Why are the fans celebrating? It's shocking. We were two goals for a good two minutes ago. But anyway, the whole point of this series is to do better. We failed on this one, but surely in the Europa League we can do it. So like I said before then, this isn't the like... This isn't the right game. We're not playing Liga Warsaw at the minute. We are playing Spartak Moscow. But I will use the same lineup that we had in the Warsaw game. Brendan went with this weird five at the back against Warsaw away. Which I can understand. Away game, Europa League. But we need some points. Just play a much stronger team. I know the defence was where we are getting let down. This is a game where if we can't defend, at least try and score. Anyway, Schmeichel in goal, Castagna, Amati, Vestergaard, Soyuncu and Thomas was a back five. Samori, Tillemans and Dudesbury Hall in the middle and Daka and Perez started up front. Let's see if we can get a job done. Oh, Timmy's on a run. Oh, he couldn't tear him up. Good header, Dewsbury Hall. Early start needed. Dewsbury Hall, left foot shot. He's missed it, unlucky. Okay, I did not press a single thing there, so God knows what has happened. And again, it won't show as a replay, so we can't actually figure it out. Can we save the penalty? Bottom left, no, it's gone there. We're 1-0 down for something I don't know. Let's go and investigate. Alright, we'll go from here. So the ball's played. I don't see anything wrong with that. Ball's played across, he's just fell over. This might be better. So you've got a slow motion. He slightly ran next to him. And he's fell over. And that's a penalty. It's not the way we wanted to start this, was it? He still got it. We love Daka. Play it through. Samore's there. Samore, play it over. Perez, 
one more to Daka. That is a lovely goal. The Samori Perez Daka link up has worked perfectly there, and we're back in it. It was this one, the little dink, then the little dink of the side of his foot, and Daka, beautiful finish. He's up and off the mark now for the season. It's absolutely perfect. Nice. Timmy's now picked up the ball. And he's down the line with some passion. He wants to make up for the penalty that was very harshly called against him. Ball in. It's not swapped me to Perez, but we might win a cut. No, we're not. Back to Timmy on the volley. Now we've won a quarter. Tillemans with the ball. Soyuncu underneath it. He's put it over. We've seen that way too many times in the Leicester shirt. Perez, he's got the ball out again. He's going to receive it. Oh, the defenders just fooled him. That was nearly a very good one too. Samori to Daka to Perez. The ball out to Luke Thomas is very good. He's took the touch. He's back in at Daka. On the volley, he's just put it wide. That would have been another very nicely worked goal, but it's not to be. Never mind. One all at half time, but we're looking good. Good interception by Yuri. They put us under a bit of pressure at the start of the second, but we've come out looking good, and now we're looking to counter. Luke Thomas is there, and he's put the ball ahead of him. He's got Daka. He's got Samore, but he just fluffed it. Nice, Marty. Nice again, Amarty. For fuck's sake, Schmeichel. This is honestly the worst goalkeeping display I've seen on this game yet. Amati's done fucking brilliantly twice. And then Schmeichel's just dived the wrong way. I'm just trying not to let him get the shot away in the box. Oh, Amati does alright. Oh, Amati does alright. Simple header back and what the fuck's he done? Not happy with that. Madison and Vardy are coming on for Perez and Dewsbury Hall. We do need a goals in these ones now, so... This is how we're going to try. Nice play between Dakar and Madison straight away. Madison just a cross goal. It's as simple as that. He's just come on. And you know on this career mode, Madison's been brilliant so far. He's done it again. It's just simple play between him and Dakar. Got no concerns about him taking it on his left and he's done it. Nicely done. Vardy's got it to Dakar. Back to Vardy, Madison, we just need some players running forward to be honest. I see Vardy trying it at least. Oh come on, if they had a penalty in the first half, that's a foul. Nice, can we go? We look like we might have one last chance going forward. Samore to Vardy. Vardy's got Daka, he sees Thomas. Thomas is making a run. He's entered the box, I'm just going to hit it. That swerved a lot more than it should have, to be honest. That was not the best effort in the world. And I think we're coming out of this one with a point. Yeah, we're coming out of this one with a point. It's a bit disappointing, especially in the way which we conceded both goals. A dodgy penalty and an absolute shocker by Schmeichel. And to be honest, that's been the episode, Schmeichel having shockers. But if you have enjoyed, we are going to catch up with real life in the next episode so we've got one more lineup that brendan used in real life then we get to use our own lineups i need to look at when fafana and justin will return i think they're both towards i think justin start november and i think fafana's not too far after now so hopefully we'll have them back in the team we'll go full fitness and look a bit better defensively if you have enjoyed please like the video Comment with any feedback on the series or any signings that you think Leicester should be making. Subscribe to see more from us and I'll catch you in a few days for the next episode. Bye!